Hi, welcome to video number three. We're going to talk about how to connect your domain name and web hosting and basically how to get your website up and running and ready for file transfer. It's very, very easy. Video number two, I stopped at this point. All I need to do is log into my domain registrar, whatever you're using. I'm using Namecheap.com. So I want to log in here and go ahead and click on login and I'll see you on the inside. And once you've purchased the domain name, it's going to appear under the number of domains in your account. So go ahead and click view. And at this point, you basically want to find your domain name. So let's uh, just pick a domain name here. After you click through, you'll notice that it says domain name server setup. So if I click on that, then the next thing you'll see is this right here. You'll see specify custom DNS servers your own DNS server. If you use HostGator, basically they're going to provide you with DNS servers. So all you have to do is click Domain Name Server Setup, enter those domain servers in here, and once you're done, just click on Save Changes. So normally DNS servers look like this. NS1, something, whatever the number is, NS2, something, dot com whatever the number is so just enter those in here if you get two enter it here sometimes you'll get four enter the four here but most of the time you'll just get two and just enter these two click save changes you're pretty much done and assuming that the web hosting company has already set up your account which of course if they provided you with that DNS servers then they already did so you should be set up now Within the next 24 to 72 hours, your domain name will basically, they call it propagation, but all that means is that your domain is going to connect to your web hosting company. And once that is complete, then you can begin the process of FTP. Some of you, it might be within a few minutes. Some of you might be within a few hours. Some of you might be 24 to 72 hours.